How we going guys? Hoops here with another video. So I've just got back from work yesterday and turns out my wife and both my two sons, Kai and Jarvis, have actually got COVID. So um, I am now isolating myself from them. So I'm actually staying at my mum and dad's house here for the rest of the week until they get better. So fingers crossed and prayers out there to uh, Jackie, Jarvis and Kai. I uh, hope they get better soon. But what I'm gonna do today, uh, haven't really got much planned for the entire week. I've got to go fix a bus and do some plumbing on uh, my father-in-law's bus. So that's going to be a job that I'll be doing soon. And I've got to help out around the house. I'm going to be doing some um, painting and all sorts of things at mum and dad's because they're selling their house. But today, uh, the weather's absolutely miserable. It's pouring down with rain. So I'm going to go metal detecting because, hey, I've got nothing else to do and rain's not going to stop me. I've got a uh, poncho that I can wear, so that'll be good. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, make myself a coffee and I'm going to use the toilet and make sure I'm ready to go because yeah, I've got to have coffee and you've got to make sure uh, when you're out there you don't need to rush off because you need to go to the toilet. So stick around, I'll play the intro. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that uh, subscribe button up the top. Give us a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment and um, yeah, we'll have a chat on the internet. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys very shortly. Nah, no one wants to see that. There we go. Definitely reckon I'm, uh, I'm a bit thinner. All right, so we're gonna get going. We're gonna stop at the shop real quick. I'm gonna grab myself a pie. Uh, and then I'm gonna head to a spot where I have found coins. But the thing is, Levi the other day uh, left his little sniper coil, which uh, goes on the Mine Lab Equinox um, detectors that I own. And he left it in my car. So. Hopefully he doesn't watch this video because then he'll know that I used it, but here's here's hoping he normally Sometimes watches them, but might he might take a couple weeks before he doesn't by then he'll have forgiven me So I'm gonna chuck his sniper coil on and we're gonna go out to the spot where I've detected once before oh, Heaps of times before I found tons and tons of coins So the idea with the sniper coil is it gets a, a hell of a lot a deeper uh, tones, so we'll get those nice deep tones the conditions are perfect because it's been raining and that's really great for uh, getting those uh, signals to uh, be a lot more chirpier and clearer. So yeah, we're gonna go to that spot and we'll be there sh uh, pretty soon. One more bloody thing. <laughs> I wash my hands before I start eating my pie. All right. There we go, let's go. All right, so, stopped at the shop. And would you believe it, they ran out of pies, so I had to get a pasty. So I've got a pasty and some barbecue sauce. And yeah, I was listening to the radio and um, the West Australian state uh, government is uh, releasing the West Australian budget today. 
and they're talking about how they're going to give us all this extra stuff and they're going to take $400 off our Synergy bills, which is a power, power bills over here in West Australia. But today I had to get fuel and this car, my uh, Hilux runs on diesel. Diesel was like $2 and I think it was $2 one or something a litre. So I put like, I think 60, I put 80 bucks in and I got like nearly 30, 30 litres of fuel or something like that, 35 or something. Ridiculous. And so they're talking about, oh, they're going to give us all this extra money. How about put the fuel prices down? I mean, the, uh, the government officials get fuel cards and all that sort of stuff, so they don't even have to pay for their fuel, so they've got nothing to worry about. So yeah, maybe they should start start looking into something like that because the fuel prices nowadays are just through the freaking roof and it's getting very very hard to get anywhere these days but anyway i am don't want to yeah waffle on too much i'm not very political but i just think that's stupid anyway we're going to head off now to the spot and we'll see you guys in a minute all right i'm going to change out this uh coil i'll take my old one off That. We'll leave that in the car. Look at the size of it. It's tiny. But that was definitely a worthy investment. Like I said, don't tell Levi. We'll see how long it takes him before he realises I've got his sniper coil. Uh, well, I'm using it. He knows I've got it. But I was going to take it back to him on on the weekend. Okay, all set up, ready to go. You'll also notice I'm not rocking the poncho. <laughs> it was a, uh, a little bit too small for me, so i am uh, got the old Venom jacket out. So we're gonna get absolutely drenched and it's gonna be miserable, but fingers crossed, uh, it'll lighten my day up when I find a penny. So we'll see how we go. We'll head over there and uh, see what happens. All right, first things first, before we get it going, we're just gonna uh, do a ground balance. So you just press the center cog, press start. <clears throat> I do this every time I uh, come to these sites. Um, we're on park one, and we'll leave it on that. Later on, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna discriminate the first half of this stuff as well. I'm gonna start uh, discriminating from about 17 um, and behind. So anything 17 above, we'll be picking up. All right. All right, so I'm not having much luck. With sniper, the spot that I thought I might have left some, I definitely cleaned it out when I was here last time. I've got a target here, 1920. It's right near an old tree by the water. So I'm gonna just make a bit of a plug. And just uh, have a look, I don't, I'm not very hopeful. But you never know. Let's just see if we can read it still. One, twenty-two, twenty-three. It could be a penny if that's the case. That's it. It's an old broken key, <laughs> and it's on a little bit of a rope. We'll give that a bit of a clean up and see if there's anything on it. But yeah, it's just a just an ordinary key. Old school though. Old school key. And it's on, like I said, on a bit of rope. Uh, yep. It's pretty cool, I suppose. Ow. All right, fill the plug in. And uh, what I'm gonna do is go back to a couple of the other, my um, little honey holes that I used to go to. And they've kind of dried up and I'll see how they go with the sniper. So I'm down here at this one. Uh, this one I found a ton of coin on Father's Day. 
uh, last year and I hadn't been back so I'm going to go to the other ones as well and see how we go there but anyway that's pretty much the only find I've found so far I'm going to have another little quick look just here before we go but yeah I don't think can't, uh, I think there's going to be much else alright so that's uh, the plug there that I just pulled the key out and there's another another good tone there so you can see that Pretty solid. Right there, so pull that and dig it up. Fingers crossed. It's in that plug, hopefully. In the hole. Oh. Oh, I bet it's a bottle cap. It kind of feels. <laughs> it's the top of the tin. Yep, that's it. That's definitely what we're picking up. Hence the high tone. Yep, oh, well, take our rubbish, fill our plug in, have another go. Here somewhere. Yeah, listen to that. Solid 33, 34. Alright. We'll give that one. Oh, where was it? Right there. I'll give this one a dig as well. I'll get this one in too. Yeah, I've never had a, oh, I can't remember finding anything decent on the 34, 35, but we'll see what it is. Oh, look, it's right there, whatever that is. All right, I don't know, actually. Oh, it's an old Welsh plug or a uh, open, with something yeah nothing cool it's off an old oil drum or an odd drum yep that's what it was and we'll fill our plug in and uh we'll get going and this one's an easy one to do beautiful all right, I'm determined to give up and my fingers are pink from the cold and the digging, but I, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm determined. I, uh, I was very determined. Dug it up, it's another old key. So another half a key. Well, actually, the other half's probably there. It looks like it's snapped off, but yeah, I know where it is. Yeah, that's a pretty old key, actually. Different as well. Yep, I'm about to uh, go and have a coffee and then we'll probably go somewhere else. <laughs> All right, I'm back in the car. Like I said, it's pretty miserable. It's just starting to sprinkle again. So, I'm gonna have hot coffee. And then, uh, yeah, we'll probably, like I said, we might take you uh, into uh, one of my other spots where we found a, a bunch of shillings and a few other things. Yeah, so there's actually another spot just up the road from uh, this spot here where I found all these coins. There's another spot where I found the um, Australian, I mean the Peel, Pill or Shire of Murray dog tag. That's just up the road. Um, and then a little bit further, a bit of a drive out is still um, a spot where I find all the um, pennies and uh, shillings. I've done that spot in particular with this uh, coil last break with Levi. But um, there's a spot a bit further up that I've always wanted to try. I've never found anything there yet. Um, I don't know, that's the thing. Yeah. Your spots tend, do tend to dry up over time. There's a spot, another couple spots I can think of too, which would be good to try with this um, pin pointer and these weather conditions with the rain. So 
like I said, when it's raining, the signals um, come, out, come out a hell of a lot better. I don't know exactly if you can tell me the reason. I do understand it, but I just can't physically, uh, verbally speak it. But yeah, it's meant to give you a way better um, tones and signals. Uh, yeah, that's the thing, your honey, honey spots, you know, you always want to go back, but I'm kind of glad that I did get every single coin from this spot here because that day of Father's Day, if you go back and watch the video, I'll link it up here. I cleaned up, I don't know how many coins, and it was all concentrated in this one spot. There was dozens of coins, there's 20, 30, 20 odd coins, shillings, um, threepences, and yeah, all those really cool, nice silvers, and it was a coin spill, so someone had maybe lost their purse, or maybe there was a little stall or something um, set up there once upon a time. I don't know, but... Uh, it's dried out now, so I can tick this one off my list of ever bothering coming back to Because I've really done this a uh, um, substantial amount of times. There's another spot behind me, too um, I did find one penny and that was Literally the only thing and I did my live video metal detecting live video there one morning as well But I don't think I'll go there either um, I might try one of my other spots a bit bit of a drive away because, yeah, we've got the rest of the day. Like I said, Jackie's in isolation, the kids. And, um, yeah, I'm going to stay at mum and dad's. So as long as I'm sort of around, back around dinner time, I can uh, cook them up something or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to start helping them out around the house. So I'll sit here, enjoy my coffee, and uh, I'll come back to you when we get to the next spot. All right, whilst I'm driving, <laughs> I want to give a shout-out whilst I'm here to... Um, a few few people on a page that I want to mention in this uh, video. So um, we got um, uh, Equinox Down Under. That's a uh, Facebook um, page group, and awesome, awesome page. If you guys want to go check that out, um, that's a good good friend, Tony. Uh, he runs it, Tony Perham, and um, and his wife. I think his name's Sammy. Well, Sally, Sammy, I think. They run the Equinox Down Under page. Uh, like I said, that's a really, really good page, and it's got a lot of awesome members that find some really, really cool stuff. So we've got uh, people like uh, James Williamson, which uh, you might have seen on, um, I think I've mentioned him in a few of my videos. I went up and met him a few times, uh, once before, and uh, he's just an absolutely amazing bloke. And there's uh, other members like Reese Hall, uh, Stephen Jones, Marty White, uh, people like that. Um, really awesome people so I'm giving them guys a shout out so hopefully uh, you guys will go and check out some of their stuff if, if not go and check out uh, the Equinox Down Under Facebook page and uh, their posts come up pretty often on the stuff they find uh, it's absolutely amazing stuff that these guys find and yeah it uh, makes my stuff look <laughs> minimal and dismal but uh, yeah they find amazing stuff all right, well, I've arrived. So <clears throat> Levi's probably gonna be questioning this video as to why I'm heading back here. Cause I think he may have done it here with the sniper the day that me and him come here. So we came here and we found a few coins and I've found tons of coins in this whole area. Like heaps of really cool old coins. So I'm hoping that uh, the conditions, the weather and stuff is gonna uh, increase my chance. But I mean, if I walk away here with finding nothing, I'm still uh, happy because I've got to spend uh, a bit of time by myself just doing the, what I love. But um, fingers crossed I do find some coins, but I'm not holding my breath. So um, maybe maybe we'll find something, maybe we won't. <clears throat> but we'll, we'll definitely give it a go, that's for sure. So yeah, uh, so Levi, if you're watching, <laughs> I had to try. So uh, at least once I'm done here today, uh, that'll cross this one off the list as well. So that's two spots now that I've been to and I probably won't bother coming back to. Uh, there is potential in this area, other places that might find some, but we, um, I haven't found anything yet other than this area alone. But it's a pretty big area, so we'll see how we go. All right, as promised, I'm going to uh, do a few different settings here today. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure it's this one here. So what I'm doing is cancelling out all these numbers. So you can see on the dial there, you can select it, press the plus, go to the next one. I don't want to, I want to cancel out three. Oh, I've done the wrong button. All right, so it's that one. I want to cancel out four. 
10, so like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think we're good there. We'll start from 18 all the way to the max. And we'll see, uh, like I said, I'm only wanting to hear those nice chirps, so we'll see how we go. All right, so uh, there's a little little tone of something. I don't know, even know what it is. It looks like a little dog. A little puppy dog or some, some sort. Yep, that's pretty cool, I suppose. It's like a little pin of something or a little badge or I don't know. It's pretty crappy, but it's still cool. Different. And that was a rung up as an 18. All right, so I did find, where is it? Check out the size of this square now. Massive, massive square now. So found that in a hole, filled it in, had another detector. And yeah, there is a coin here. I'm not sure. Oh, yep. <laughs> yeah, it's a two cent piece. Yep, definitely a two cent piece. But anyway, that's a coin for the day. So a bit of nothing. Anyway, we'll keep looking. Yep, just got my first decent coin. It just flipped out of the hole, and it's a penny. And I'm not sure if it's a roux. I'd say it will be. And then again, yeah, no, I'm uh, pretty sure I can see the embossment of the roux. We'll give that a clean up later, but yep, cool. The very first coin. And uh, yep, I'm pretty sure that's a roux penny, but I can't make it out but I might go wash it in the water in a minute and uh, we'll see how we go but yes stoked okay here's a find I don't normally get very often and check out this <laughs> an old whistle so it looks like it's got some writing on it too that's cool I like that an old old school whistle that's writing on it just there I'll give that a clean up later as well probably still works it looks like it, that's where it used to join onto a thing, but that's probably not there anymore. But yeah, awesome. All right, pretty wrapped with this sniper coil. Shh, don't tell Levi. But um, yeah, I had a had a tone in here. My pin pointer's buggered. I don't know what's going wrong. Maybe it, it's a battery, but I pin pointed it with the sniper coil, and um, yeah, I've got a coin right here, and it looks like a little frippy, as it's small. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely a silver. And I can see the coat of arms. But I can't see a date. We'll have to wash that down in the water as well. But that's definitely, oh, well, water from the rain might help. No, definitely not. We'll do a Bushman's clean, but I'm pretty sure it's a, I don't know, it looks different. I don't know. We'll clean that up in a minute, come back to you and show you what it is, but it feels like a little, little threepence. But yeah, like I said, we'll see. Oh, I'm on 3% battery. There we go. Modern coin. Not to bucker. <laughs> so still find stuff. But I'll have to get back to the car soon, have a coffee, charge me uh, GoPro and then uh, maybe go to the other side. But we're almost finished here, and we'll uh, just see if we can get a couple more and see how we go. All right, I'm <laughs> filthy, look at me. <laughs> and wet. But look, yeah, I found a fairly deep down to a 50 cent piece. So, all right. Um, I've got a coin in the hole <clears throat> somewhere in here. Where did I put it? It's under the dirt. I had to. I washed my hands as well because it makes it a bit easier. I'm positive there was a coin. Have you seen it? Oh, there we go. Look there. Oh, that's a. I think pretty sure that's a Commonwealth one penny. I'm pretty sure. There's a fair way down too, which is awesome. It rung up a 22. But uh, my GoPro went flat on my last dig, so I couldn't film it, so I'm recording it on my phone. But I'll give these a wash, see what we got. All right, it's been a while since I found something, but I found another coin. It's a good chance it's a two cent piece or a half penny. I think, by the size of it, I think it's a two cent piece. Yeah, it's a two. 
There you go. I did clean up them other coins in the water. So I'll, when I go sit in the car and have a coffee, I'll show you the coins and I'll show you the dates on them. And you'll be surprised at some of the dates on these uh, coins that I've found. Right, so there's the penny that I found, the, la the one of the last pennies, Commonwealth penny, 1915. You can see all the green on here. All these coins are pretty well had it, but I'll, I'll polish them anyway and see how we go. 1915 penny. Then we got the the threepence, the silver threepence, and that one there is 1912. Threepence, 1912 threepence. So that is awesome. That will shine up absolutely beautiful. That one. And the other penny that we got is a 1961. I think that says that. And that, you know, that's a pretty cool rue. That's the other side. Pretty knackered. And then we got obviously a just a Aussie. 50 cent piece. I love that icon. I'm actually going to get that tattooed on my on me somewhere one day. Because I really love it. And that's a 2007. That was pretty well buried for a 2007 coin. And then no one really cares, but there's the brown buggers. 1983. Another brown bugger there. And no idea and like I said don't really care there are some two cent pieces that are worth quite a bit of money but I'll uh, show you the rest of the finds of what we got and then we'll call it a wrap right uh, here's all the other junk that I found basically a couple sinkers a few square nails a uh, little um, couple rivet uh, yep those things <laughs> uh, some of the there's the Welsh plug or the plug whatever you want to call it it's got writing inside it <clears throat> a couple big square nails uh, an old toy truck there's the little dog's head there I found a two bucker a couple of bits of crap a bullet this old whistle is actually really really cool I did give it a slight clean up let's see if we can read it the acne thunderer made in England you see there where it would have been attached to something, the uh, cord. But I reckon, more than likely, if that marble's still in there, and it's full of dirt, it'll work. And I might give it a bit of a, a bit of a clean up. And see, see how it sounds. And you see all the dirt's falling out of it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, what else did we find? Yeah, just a bullet. Can't see a head stamp on it needs a bit of a clean and just that there's that key one of the first uh, the second key that I found it's got some writing on it I wouldn't say that would be super old it might be an old GM GM key or something kind of looked a bit similar to my Tirana key but I don't know what that says on it and this one this one's pretty interesting so it's got this really old rope still on it. And I'm pretty sure this one might have had some writing on it too. It's definitely something up there. So I might give that a good clean as well and see what we can read on that. But there's a lot of, a lot of cleaning to do involved on that one. But that's a pretty old key, I reckon, just by the shape of it. Sort of tell that it's got an old look to it and um, that's it righty guys that'll do it so the purpose of this um video obviously was just to uh sneak off with levi's sniper coil and check out some of the spots that i've been to and found once before and found some coins the first spot obviously turned up uh nothing uh we found those two keys obviously but absolutely no coins whatsoever not even a brown bugger so I definitely cleaned up that area uh, before with the big coil um, but coming back to this second spot which is the th I think that's the third or fourth time I've been here now and I found more coins so I found two pennies and that um, threepence 
and a whole bunch of other stuff. So pretty pretty wrapped with that sniper coil. Um, the area where I found the thrippence is um, an area where I found, or actually right near the thrippence, I found the penny as well. But with the normal coil on it last time in dry conditions, I found a half penny and a full penny as well uh, in the exact same spot. So it just goes to show that sniper coil, the difference that it makes, the deeper targets, um, and the more accurate it is uh, with um, pinpointing exactly where that coin is. Um, so a lot, nice, smooth, uh, slow sweeps of the uh, sniper coil is the, the technique to do. Um, just just go back over your ground nice and nice and slow and steady. And uh, yeah, there's a good chance you might actually pick up those other targets. So yeah, shush, uh, don't tell Levi. We'll see how long it takes him. I'll uh, leave it in a, the comments section or something like that and get a time stamp on when he uh, finally realizes I used his sniper coil. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see how we go. Anyway, I hope you like that video. Don't forget to subscribe. Go and check out the uh, Equinox Down Under page and check out all them fellas I mentioned before. Um, go and see some of their finds. You'll see it on that Equinox Down Under page. So yeah, for now I'm gonna sit here and have my coffee. And then I'm going to get home because I'm absolutely uh, a mess. My pants are filthy. Um, uh, yeah, I'm soaked. My shoes are soaked. My socks are soaked. My hat is drenched. And yeah, I'm in a major need of a shower. So I'm going to go do that and uh, have a bit of a relax. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay moist.